Before humanity, before the great apes, and even before familiar mammals, there was a world ruled by giants. Among these giants were the first snakes, ancestors that pioneered a new way of life. Prehistoric snakes evolved from lizard-like creatures, some still bearing tiny hind legs, a living link to their origins. Their world was warmer, wetter, and more tropical than today, allowing cold-blooded animals to reach astonishing sizes. Ancient snakes weren't just bigger, they were fundamentally different, adapting to a vanished world. These early serpents navigated a landscape of evolutionary leaps, carving out their place among other colossal creatures. Their journey stretches back over a hundred million years from legged pioneers to the giants that followed the dinosaurs. Fossils offer glimpses into their story, each bone a testament to survival and adaptation. The story of snakes is one of endurance, innovation and dominance. They survived mass extinctions and spread across continents. Today's snakes are mere shadows of their prehistoric ancestors. The legacy of these giants is written in stone waiting to be uncovered. Their evolution is a dramatic reminder of nature's endless creativity. The age of giant snakes set the stage for one of the most extraordinary predators the world has ever seen. Among all prehistoric snakes, one name towers above the rest, Titanoboa terigionensis. Titanoboa was the largest snake ever, stretching over 13 meters and weighing more than a ton. Imagine a serpent longer than a city bus, thicker than a truck tire and heavier than a small car. Modern giants like anacondas seem small in comparison. Titanoboa was a living river of muscle and scale, the apex predator of its time. The discovery of its fossils in a Colombian coal mine stunned scientists. Titanoboa's existence proved that in the right conditions, nature can produce wonders beyond imagination. It was a monument to the power of evolution. Titanoboa's story is a reminder of nature's capacity for extremes. The legend of Titanoboa continues to captivate and inspire as the ultimate symbol of prehistoric power. To understand Titanoboa, we travel back 60 million years to the Paleocene epoch. The dinosaurs were gone, leaving a world ready for new giants. Titanoboa lived in what is now Colombia, in a vast, steamy rainforest unlike anything today. The Cirejon Formation was a gigantic swamp with slow rivers and dense vegetation. Temperatures soared, creating a hothouse perfect for cold-blooded giants. Titanoboa's metabolism thrived in this heat, allowing it to grow to unprecedented size. Its very existence is a clue to Earth's ancient climate, a living thermometer of a warmer past. Titanoboa shared its world with enormous turtles, giant lungfish and massive crocodiles. This was an ecosystem of titans where size was the norm. The snake was the apex predator, perfectly adapted to its watery tropical home. Its dominance shaped the balance of life in the Paleocene swamp. The world it inhabited was a super greenhouse, teeming with life on a grand scale. Studying Titanoboa helps us understand how climate shapes life. Its story is a vital link to our planet's past and its possible futures. The realm of the giants was a world both alien and instructive. Titanoboa's immense size demanded an equally immense appetite. As an ambush predator, it lurked in the water, camouflaged and patient. Its prey included giant crocodiles and turtles, battles between titans. Titanoboa was a constrictor, using its powerful coils to suffocate victims. Its bite held prey fast, while its body delivered crushing force. Scientists estimate its constriction could generate over 400 pounds per square inch, inescapable for any animal. Once subdued, Titanoboa swallowed its prey whole, jaws stretching impossibly wide. This method, seen in modern boas and anacondas, was perfected on a colossal scale. Titanoboa was a specialist hunter of giants, maintaining balance in its ecosystem. By preying on other large animals, it shaped the structure of life in the swamp. Its role as apex predator was crucial for the health of its world. Titanoboa was not just a monster, it was a keystone species. Its feeding habits reveal the complexity of prehistoric ecosystems. The prehistoric feast was a spectacle of power and adaptation. The discovery of Titanoboa began in a Colombian coal mine where miners unearthed giant vertebrae. At first mistaken for crocodile bones, they were soon recognized as belonging to a snake of unimaginable size. Fossils allowed scientists to reconstruct Titanoboa's length, weight and even its hunting style. Each bone is a clue, piecing together a world lost for 60 million years. Studying Titanoboa reveals more than just a monster. 
It teaches us about climate, evolution and survival. Its existence links directly to the warm climate of its era, offering insights into how life responds to environmental change. As our planet warms, Titanoboa's story becomes a vital lesson for the future. These ancient giants challenge our ideas of what's possible in nature. Their bones remind us that Earth has endured dramatic changes before. By studying the past, we better understand evolution, ecosystems and our own place in history. Titanoba is more than a prehistoric wonder. It's a teacher from the depths of time. Its legacy endures, inspiring awe and curiosity. The bones of Titanoboa still have stories to tell.